Alrighty, this is the Diesel We The People News. Okay, one more time at it. Alrighty, we never look straight forward. We always look around us, be able to protect ourselves by any means necessary. Siri, Siri, Siri. Alright, so, uh, not an attorney, not giving legal advice. Anything I say or do is just opinion, my opinion. Okay, everything that is on this channel, it's just hearsay. Do your own research, educational purposes only. Okay, um... So I had a buddy of mine, uh, uh, I was helping in court, a uh, family court, okay, I didn't do everything, I was just helping, uh, and he called me up yesterday, and uh, because he goes in there standing as a man, and telling them that he's not there to contract with them, and all that kind of stuff, and of course this is a family issue, family court case issue, which for the program is contract. All right, read it, research it, uh, do your own research because I'm not giving legal advice. And uh, he didn't ever sign nothing, ever. He, even when the judge ordered to sign, he did not sign. And he tells the judge, I'm not going to sign. All right, there's been a contempt of court brought up. And, uh, you know, uh, then when he asked, is it family court? You know, what gave you jurisdiction? Well, family court. Oh, contract. He called the judge out. Okay, but anyway, on the side note, um, so he called me up, and uh, the judge in said case actually gave another lady's offspring to him to take care of, even after all this court thing, and the judge told him, or told the, the clerks and all that, that he will not sign nothing, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, release the uh, custody to the offspring to him while they get their affairs in order in court. So he didn't even have to sign nothing. The judge knew he did not sign nothing and he could test the courts all these times and still got somebody else's kids to take care of <laughs> uh, while they're going through the family court process. <laughs> you can't make this up, people. I mean, <laughs> anyway, he walked in there and on purpose... Uh, he walked in there, did not take his hat off. Uh, he didn't, you know, uh, shirts hanging loose, this, that, here and there. And when you go into court, she's particular. This judge is a she. And she's particular at everybody. And But she's not particular about him. She actually dismisses her case uh, or her authority, let's just say, uh, for some of y'all out there and uh, recuse herself because she does not want to deal with him. <laughs> uh, so the names look familiar on the paperwork. She obviously knows she gave the offspring to him and all this kind of stuff. So we are led to believe and do believe that there was a meeting of the minds between the officer and the magistrate, which judge, whatever you guys want to call her, right? So when he walked in, had his hat on and all that, he went in there sat down while everybody else had their hat off and kind of looked a little bit rough around the edges and they left him alone uh, the uh what do you call them <laughs> the officers in the court um didn't say nothing to him did not say take his hat off or take his phone or anything and they do that in odessa by the way and uh, but they didn't tell him nothing they left him alone now in time when he made his point to himself, uh, he got here and took his hat off and all that um, because everybody showed him respect. He respected them back. Okay? They did not try to give any alleged authority over him because, well, there'd be a thorn in their side if they did. <laughs> and she's like, I don't want to deal with this. <laughs> right? Anyway, I'm going to get back on to this. Uh, sorry about that. I had to talk about a little story that um, a man, one of the friends, uh, told me about happened to him in court uh, with his friend because uh, it was just interesting, right? Uh, of course, we did not hear the magistrate judge, family court judge, or whatever you want to call her, uh, tell the officers we didn't hear the meetings of minds between them two. But both of them left him alone with his hat on in court. Okay, so it is interesting. All right, let's uh, go ahead and proceed forward, right? Criminal complaint. 
Okay. Now I would suggest, okay, and it's my opinion, not giving legal advice, when you file a criminal complaint, you take it to a magistrate on a cop or officer or sheriff or whatever. Um, do what the criminal codes say and then have their statutes that matches that criminal code, not statutes, but their policies right underneath it. Okay, he broke this law, but he also broke their own uh, policies. Okay, because what do they get? They break crimes, but they always get fired over policies. Never because of the crime. <laughs> uh, sovereign citizen immunity must be really nice to have. <laughs> Let's go. Uh-oh. Let me just turn that up. Prior to the War of Independence, which means that a man's ancestors wrote the state and federal constitutions, and all government authority comes from the demand, and people like the demand. We the people. And this is a maxim of law. The power which is derived cannot be greater than that from... We the people. That's the reason why on the documents, I am one of the people. I'm not a person. I'm clearly establishing on my documents that I'm one of the people. Okay? I am a free man and one of the people. Okay? I'm free, but as one of the people, all right, I'm clearly establishing that I have authority over you. I'm political. Okay? I have political authority. The people, we the people, are, um, uh, it's a political thing. We're men and women, natural uh, rights, okay, uh, chosen by God to give us, okay? But the people is the political power over them. That's what gives us the power over them. Which it is derived. All of which evidence Janet Yellen's to perjure her oath and all civil laws, Texas, United States, codes, rules, and regulations cannot be used to violate the demandant's rights. Another maxim of law, the right of blood and kindred cannot be destroyed by any civil law. Which means the demandant is a free inhabitant as found in the Articles of Confederation. And they're required to know the protections provided under the Geneva Conventions may not be given up or waived. And they're required to know the protections are mandatory. Janet Yellen's a coward and has failed to make an oath of office as required by Article 6, Clause 3. <clears throat> All executive and judicial officers are supposed to have an oath of office. When they violate your rights, I'm going to say it again. I said it in the past. You are allowed to be belligerent. Because the demandant has sent a FOIA request and they failed to answer it. And the demandant previously sent a FOIA request for Henry Paulson and he failed to have an oath of office. A true copy of which is attached here to. Janet Yellen is required to know that the four founding documents of the United States of America are the Declaration of Independence, the Articles of Confederation, the Northwest Ordinance, and the Constitution for the United States of America. And Article 2 of the Northwest Ordinance requires that the demandant be provided a common law proceeding with a trial by jury, which means the jury conducts the trial. And that's a cite from uh, the Northwest Ordinance. And the Northwest Ordinance applies to all federal territory and includes territory under a military occupation. And the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights was ratified by Congress as Treaty 95-20, which means it's the supreme law of the land, uh, and on Article 1 says the demandant has a right to self-determination, which means the demandant decides who the demandant is, not some screed for low intelligence military police hired thug, not some bought and paid for a court masquerading as a judge, like Godby, Shore, or Ramirez, all of which goes to Janet Yellen's intent to perjure her oath to support the, and defend the Constitution of the United States, which is the supreme law of the land, because she's demonstrated that she intends to hold her simulated legal process in her so-called court, and she's demonstrated that she intends to obstruct the demandant's ability to get a remedy as evidenced herein, because the official oppression and the suborning of perjuries and the threats and the fraud and the deception and the thefts and the war crimes engaged in by her and her District of Columbia corporate Lake Worth military police buddies and her Azel military police buddies 
and there's a numb list of them all right here. And it's all such good business for a so-called court, all of which is evidence that Janet Yellen has no intention of providing a trial by jury as required by the Constitution, Article 3. And Article 6, an amendment, and the Northwest Ordinance. And Janet Yellen intends to make sure that the demandant is denied a remedy guaranteed under Article 9, Clause 5. And Janet Yellen's required to know that one of the four founding documents, among the other things, the Declaration of Independence says that we hold these truths uh, to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, that to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men. And Janet Yellen's required to know that the pursuit of happiness is defined as a right to get compensation for labor. And here's some court citations about compensation for labor. We're trying to kind of try and speed this thing up a little bit, which is codified in the Code of Law for the District of Columbia. Which is codified in the Code of Law for the, for the District of Columbia, also known as United States Code, uh, Title 15, Section 7, which uh, talks about the labor of human being is not a commodity or article of commerce. And so uh, Janet Yellen has demonstrated that she intends to deny the demand. That right there is very important because what are they doing when you go get a job? They make you fill an IS form, okay, and pay taxes with. Well, they're putting you in commercial. They're making you a commodity. Right to pursue happiness as an accomplice to her District of Columbia corporate military police buddies all listed there. And the supreme law of the land found in the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights requires that the man be brought before a judge promptly, which is called an examining trial, and it's the only duty of the magistrate to preserve the peace by convening an examining trial as considered in the Texas Code of Criminal Procedure, Article 2.11. Um, an examining trial is a threshold requirement, and there must be in the record a determination. Yeah, uh, examining trial is very important. Like when we talked about uh, tickets and all that uh, for Texas, it's 2.111. Uh, it's going to have to be attached to the 14, and then it's going to have to be attached with also the 15 uh, because of these warrant issues. And uh, I believe 7 and 13, and then you got the driving code of 543. Probable cause as required by the Texas Code of Criminal Procedure, Article 1617. And the judge is required to certify the proceedings, and they all fail to hold an examining trial, and after randomly searching more than a hundred... Uh, for educational purpose, 1617 is the magistrate within 48 hours must, 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 uh, sign a warrant to be put in jail uh, to the clerk. Okay, that's what the magistrate's job is. Everybody in jail is supposed to have a warrant. Everybody. Cases in Tarrant County and Johnson County, there is no evidence anywhere of an examining trials, but Janet Yellen's busy conspiring with Godby, Richmond, Alito, Lynn, Ramirez, and Scholler to use their color of law rules to make sure the demandant is de denied a remedy. And some unknown coward under Michael T. Tooley's uh, and McCraw's supervision has issued an intelligence bulletin to declare the demandant armed and dangerous because of a notice and demand, the demand had served on Michael T. Tooley, uh, Montana Highway Patrol Chief Administrator, in which the demand had, uh, uh, said in paragraph 38 that the demand had has a right to resist unlawful arrest with lethal force if necessary, and the demand is having trouble finding said where he would resist their unlawful arrest. And the demand has never in his life breached the peace, and Janet Yellen's hired thugs and Tooley's hired thugs and McCraw's hired thugs breached the peace on a routine basis under the color of law. And the demandant does have a right to resist any unlawful arrest as evidenced by the court citations that were originally provided. And we're going to go with the one thing, y'all, just so you have a full understanding. Where is the victim? The state can't file paperwork. So who's the man or woman making a claim against a man or a woman? Janet Yellen and her intelligence bulletin attached to the original war crimes complaint as evidenced is evidence that McCraw and his redacted coward thugs 
and as Texas Department of Public Safety military police intend to conspire with Thule and Montana Highway Patrol military police and Mayorkas and Janet Yellen and their Homeland Security military police and the Federal Bureau of Investigation military police and others to obstruct by force the free exercise of Christian religious beliefs by subjecting the demanded to their satanic religious ceremony by denying common laws following the Holy Bible with lies and fraud in a foreign unconstitutional jurisdiction under private international law and their Roman cult handlers with their Roman cult Sestike Yuzu Sestike Trust and their fraudulent military so-called courts with their Roman law in violation of Title 18 uh, U.S. Code Section 247 damage to religious property, obstruction of persons, and free exercise of religious beliefs. And they're all right, we're going to go ahead and pause there because it's 15 minutes and I wasted time. All right, so this is part five, y'all. Uh, here we go. I'm going to just give you guys educational advice, okay, or opinion, okay? Look these codes up for yourself, especially the ones in Texas because you bring up Texas, but match the code in your state as well if you want to take this into any particular type of consideration, Okay. Uh, since I paused it, I'm going to go ahead and do that where you can kind of look at it. But, that being said, this is Diesel with the People News. Till next time, bye y'all.